Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome to this edition of News from Deep Space. Let's kick things off. Campbell Soup released a new 30-second commercial where two gay dads spoon-feed their son Cooper soup. Let me guess. Beef with cream mushroom. Tamara Samsonova, a 68-year-old grandmother, had her home raided in St. Petersburg, Russia. She was spotted on CCTV carrying her friend's body parts in a garbage bag. Which begs the obvious question. If someone is carrying around your body parts in a garbage bag, were they ever really your friend? Apparently a dispute over dirty teacups precipitated the murder, which has really got me speculating. Was Samsonova pro or anti dirty teacups as the police report didn't specify? I'm thinking there might be a cover up, but the story doesn't end there. During the raid, police discovered her diaries where she detailed 14 other murders where she sawed off her victims' heads and devoured them. I don't mean to sound judgmental or anything, but I think once you go past eating mm, 10 people, you've got a serious eating disorder. Too bad Dr. Du doesn't live in Russia. He's generally very good at dealing with eating disorders. One of her victims was her husband, which I admit, sawing off your spouse's head and eating him is a hell of a lot more economical than hiring a divorce lawyer. But it's not the most calorically prudent method when it comes to divorce. In the Dominican Republic, at a Volvo demo, a Volvo ran over a group of journalists covering the event as the car's automatic self-parking feature was being showcased. Apparently the accident was the result of the owner not purchasing the pedestrian detection option, which otherwise would have prevented the car from crashing into people. I don't blame him. I'm a cheapskate myself and I hate people, so if I ever bought one of those things, I'd skip that feature too. Save money and kill people. Kill two birds with one stone. Or, more accurately, run over two people with one car. A French company has pitched the idea of selling a perfume based on the scent of your deceased loved ones. The inventor of the perfume states, We take the person's clothing and extract the odor and we reconstruct it in the form of a perfume which seems like a scam to me when you could just soak one of their old socks in a bottle of Old Spice and get the exact same effect. The Illinois State Lottery has seized payouts that exceed $600 because their check writing account is dry. Wow, what a buzzkill. You beat the insurmountable odds to win the lottery, which is less likely than being killed by an asteroid, and they stiff you. Reminds me of the insurmountable odds it took for that one sperm from your dad to reach that one egg from your mom to create you, and you end up in this shithole known as planet Earth. Don't get me wrong, it was a lovely planet before people got here. A little girl named Laura was sent home from school with a note informing her parents that she could no longer bring her lunchbox to school because it had a picture of Wonder Woman on it and was therefore too violent. While there was no actual violence displayed on the lunchbox, just a picture of Wonder Woman holding the lasso of truth, the image was considered to be too graphic to be on school grounds. The school policy states, We have defined violent characters as those who solve problems using violence. Superheroes certainly fall into that category. Hmm. I wonder what the school would say about an Obama lunchbox. That guy's murdered half a million people in Syria alone. And they weren't even cartoon dead people. They were the real thing. And with that, this concludes this edition of News from Deep Space. End transmission, over and out.